shelling out more to fuel our cars. Gas prices have been on the rise this month. And joining us over Zoom is Clay Ingram from AAA Alabama. Clay, I looked at gas prices this morning. The average in Alabama is $3.30. That's up about 10 cents in a week, more than 35 cents in a month. What's driving up prices? Well, it, it's uh, it kind of comes down to supply and demand, as as always. We we saw our global demand drop quite a bit back in the fall and late falls, particularly in November and December, as some of the other countries around the world re-implemented some of their their COVID restrictions. But there, some of those countries are coming out of that now, and then there's some anticipation here in the U.S. that we'll have a pretty big demand year this year as well. And our supply is still a little tight with this Russian Ukraine situation. Uh, it's, and when I say the supply is tight, I mean on a global basis, not here on a U.S. basis. But we are affected by the, the global supply and demand always. So that's really the most important thing. And that's been a part of this. Uh, global demand is expected to tick up quite a bit over the next few months. But I, I think that in the meantime, in, in the coming weeks and months, we're going to see prices jump around a little bit. We'll see some drops for a week or two, and we'll see some increases a week or two. But I think by the time we get to uh, Memorial Day weekend and uh, the kickoff to the summer travel season, our prices are going to be probably noticeably higher than they are today. You know, prices at the start of the year kind of set the tone for the busy travel season. What do higher yeah. prices now mean for later in the year? Yeah, you're right, uh, Sally, because January and February are usually sort of our starting point for the year, and we kind of go up from there at least through the summertime till we get the, the summer travel season behind us, and then they start dropping again typically in the fall. And that's what we saw last year as well. It was just an exaggerated version of that when we set an all-time record high in June last year of 463 a gallon just here for our Alabama average. So I don't think we'll get anywhere close to that level of pricing this year, uh, but it's going to be a little bit of a, a, a wait and see kind of situation that, to see what our global demand does and see what our global supply does as well. With that in mind, would you tell folks, go ahead and prepare and plan now for those higher gas prices during the busy travel season? Yeah, I, I, actually, it's it's always a good a good idea to plan ahead for any type of travel to be sure that you get to go where you want to go, when you want to go, and at the best possible price. Uh, you know, we all hear those stories of some last minute uh, travel bargains and deals. If you can travel two days from now, you can get a great price. And that does happen. Uh, but it's not as common as as we would like for that to be. Typically, you're going to be a lot better off by planning months and months in advance. And uh, that's one of the reasons we have our, our big travel show every year here in Birmingham um, in February. In fact, it's, it's coming up this, this coming weekend. So uh, it gives people an opportunity to plan way in advance and get the best possible pricing and the best availability as well. Yeah, give us the details about that big event happening this weekend. That's a great opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the, the big annual travel show that we do every year. We've been doing it for, for many, many years. Um, it's in the, it's at the Pelham Civic Center uh, in Pelham, just, just south of, uh, of Birmingham. Um, it's on Saturday from 9 until 1. It's completely free to anybody and everybody. You don't have to be a AAA member to attend. Um, we've got a lot of great presentations going on about a lot of different destinations, uh, cruises and, and tour packages and all kinds of things. Uh, and we'll have special pricing there on a lot of those things. And we'll have tra travel agents there on hand that can book travel for you if you want to. There's no obligation, of course, and there's no charge to use these travel agents to, to book these, uh, these special prices on these uh, travel destinations. And again, you don't have to be a member to do it. You don't have to join. Uh, there's no strings attached. And, you know, Tripway is the biggest travel agency in the country. So we get a lot of special pricing for a lot of different travel destinations. Sometimes it pays to plan ahead and to talk with an expert. Some folks like to plan those travels alone, but it really helps sometimes to talk with an expert. And as you said, it doesn't cost anything and you don't have to be a AAA member. That's right. It's just a great place to come and gather information, uh, ask a lot of questions. There's a lot of people know exactly where they want to go on their next vac vacation, but some people think, well, you know, I just want to go somewhere, but I'm not sure where. So uh, it's no, whichever category you fall in, it's, it's a great opportunity to come and, and get some information. And if you like, you can take advantage of some special pricing and 
Um, and it, nothing else, it's a fun day just to kind of hang out and walk around, maybe win a door prize or something and, um, and, and just talk to a lot of different travel professionals. You may think you know where you want to go when you come up there and you see another destination and, and change your mind. There are a lot of great places out there. Clay Ingram with AAA Alabama, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Sam.